Joey Stroop here, Bike Man Performance, doing a Technical Tuesday segment on durability pistons and how ours work compared to the stock Polaris uh, 800 CFI pistons. So let's go over uh, the most apparent difference if we look at it from the side. Uh, the durability, which is on the left side here, is a quarter inch taller. Uh, what that quarter inch taller design does is it actually makes the piston less prone to rock. So like if you look at when the piston goes up and down it, it really puts a lot of skirt load on and the further we make that skirt from the top of the piston the more advantage the piston has to want to stay straight. So that's one of the uh, key features. Uh, one of the other features we include in our pistons is we have the exact same crown as the Polaris piston has and the neat thing about that is that when the piston comes up uh, to the head it's going to maintain the same squish shape, the same chamber size and the same port timing so uh, we figured that was really important because we want this to be a direct fit replacement. Uh, one of the other things we incorporated in you can see how close the rings are together on the factory Polaris piston and how much wider uh, the bike band piston is. Uh, by separating that we give more aluminum between them and we actually have better cooling for the rings. So the rings run cooler uh, and they transfer heat better from the piston to the cylinder wall and it's just a happier piston. Another design you'll see incorporated into the bike band piston uh, these little gas ports which allows oil that films up on the inside of the piston uh, to get pushed from the positive pressure beneath it to the outside cylinder wall where the most load is happening. So those little uh, gas ports allow the oil to come through and lubricate the piston. Uh, the Bike Man Durability Piston is also uh, a lighter piston so you're going to have less harmonic vibrations. Uh, one of the other things that wasn't incorporated in the first uh, 800 CFI Polaris pistons uh, but Polaris has incorporated in most of their later models is the wrist pin is offset 20 thousandths towards the exhaust side. What that does is it, it straightens out the skirt load a little bit and makes a longer life piston. We've also included that into our design uh, since day one and the models that didn't have that were the early Dragon years but during the updates they uh, they quickly uh, fixed that. So the quarter inch taller piston is all added above the wrist pin so the distance from here to the crown is a quarter inch taller uh, so that's where the added support comes from uh, so when we add that quarter inch we give you a spacer plate and gasket set that goes between your cylinder and the case so I'm going to show you uh, one of the reasons why it's beneficial to have the spacer plate in this engine and why with the spacer and durability that they, they do make more power. So I'm going to aim this up a little bit more and I'm going to aim it in here like this. So you'll be able to see see these little uh, cylinder skirts that come down. You can see they move with the cylinder. Uh, right now there's one gasket between it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, the cylinder off and I'm going to add the spacer plate and the other gasket in place. I'm going to put the cylinder back on and you're going to be able to see how much of a difference it is how those skirts stick down. So now you can see there is absolutely no restriction for the air fuel coming in the reed window before it gets to the bottom of the piston. And that's one of the reasons that uh, the durability makes more power and requires just a little bit more fuel than the uh, non-durability engines. Uh, another way that they work is so when the piston's coming up and down it, it pulls air in and then goes down and compresses it it moves around to the top of the piston so when it pulls air in on a smaller uh, but without the plate in there say like like this it pulls in push it around it works really good especially at lower RPM. It's a really small uh, design, small compact engine and it worked really good for players to keep their weight down on their engines. But at higher RPM when it comes up and down it 
the, the air stops faster and it doesn't uh, proceed to push air through the reeds because it's such a small area, it stops really fast, fills up. Where once we add that spacer plate, there's a bigger area so that air that starts rushing in, even more jams in, packs it, and above 5,000 RPM, you'll see a noticeable gain in power. Uh, between those two things, uh, we're gonna gain like five to six horse throughout the entire uh, area above 5,000 RPM. So below 5,000 RPM, it's gonna require a little less fuel than stock with the durability kit, and above 5,000 RPM, it's gonna require about 3% more. Uh, a lot of situations, we can accommodate this by doing the uh, ethanol mode if you're not running ethanol fuel. So that's our basic rundown of the uh, Bikeman durability kit. Hope you enjoyed it.